If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please consider liking it because I'm terrible at FIFA and I need all the self-esteem I can get. If you're interested in football shirts, football boots or anything football related, go check out my Depop. The link for that is also down below. And if you do need any coins, head over to u7bystore.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a discount. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. And today we find out whether I'm terrible at the game, full stop, without question, or whether I'm capable of winning five out of nine. Why nine, by the way? Why isn't it ten? I, I'm going to say this all year until they actually make it ten. I'm hoping at the end of the season they do make it ten. I didn't bring my keeper out there, by the way. Uh, Dudek decided, I'm coming for this, and there's nothing you can do about it. And Mane was like... Donk, and it just went over the top of him, uh, which put me a goal down. I've been doing an awful lot of that, which is the thing that I still don't know the name of. What is it? What's it called? The... I Honestly, I have no idea what it is. Basically, you click in both sticks, and then you can control the the runner rather than the ball carrier. You can still you still control when they pass or what type of pass they play, etc. And you can switch between different runners... But that's what I do, and I've been doing it a lot, and it's working for creating chances. Unfortunately, it's not en enough to, to win me games. We lose the first one, which means we are now 2-3. and three. We now need to go 3-1 and one in order to qualify. Fantastic. So, rewards yesterday, they weren't bad. I'm not saying that they were bad. I know a lot of people were like, to be, to be fair, no one said how ungrateful are you, blah, blah, blah. But I'm sure a lot of people were thinking it. It's not that I'm ungrateful, it's just when I get a walkout, it's Harry Kane. And if I get a walkout, it's not Harry Kane, it's Jamie Vardy or Donnarumma. It's one of those three, every single time. And I just want someone, just one person who's different. I, I don't care who it is, any other 86 rated player that I haven't already packed would have been nice. That's all I was getting at. But um, no, still very happy with them because of course if they do release a decent SBC, then... Yeah, uh, we'll have a lot of fodder. Oh, did we just lose another one? We did. So we are now 2-4, and four, which means we cannot afford to lose any more games if we want to qualify. Using that again, and it worked an absolute dream. Dembele gets in behind, scores a good goal. Direct from kickoff. My opponent here, you, you must have seen it by his team. He did not have a very good team at all. Barella was the only decent player in there. The rest of it was a little bit trash bags. And we just turned him inside out in the first 10, 20 minutes, I think it was. Uh, we went 2-0 up within, I don't know, a matter of seconds of each other. And then we're at it again. Uh, Frankie de Jong through the middle. And then I have to do this four-point turn. I have to do it at least once a game because it looks so good. And then Dembele down that right-hand side. Reluctant to use that, um, like, what what is it? I need to learn what it's called, man. Can someone help me out? What the hell is it called? Anyway, we get a rage quit. 20 minutes in, uh, my opponent decides he's had enough. I don't know what happened to me there. I was possessed. Uh, I went, like I said, 2-4, and four. I was really annoyed, and then when I went into that game, I just, I went for it, and I was throwing everybody forward, I was taking risks you shouldn't be taking, luckily for me, my opponent wasn't the best, and I got away with it, this time, I did it again, I nearly paid the price a few times, to be fair, my opponent nearly caught me, but then we play a long ball over the top to the speed merchant that is Benzema, um, he may not be speedy, but boy, he can finish, so a lot of people are saying probably best to play this week because a lot of the lower skill players at this stage of uh, qualification will be running out of attempts. So some people, like myself last week actually, uh, you get one attempt more than you need. Uh, if you can qualify, like one shot qualify, every single time. Look at this for a goal, by the way. Right, Benzema? Like, I mean, wow. Oh, people were telling me that uh, they didn't even realise finesse shots have been patched in the comments. So I'm going to try them a little bit more often. I played for that, by the way. I knew he'd get sent off, or at least that was the hope. I could have gone round him. And I know I'm not very good at the game, but my IQ there was absolutely sensational. Because I knew that if he got a red card, being 2-0 up, it was almost impossible for him to come back into the game. And then he gave away a penalty moments later, made it 3-0. He kept playing. He kept coming forward. He kept trying to score goals, which is fine. Makes sense in a game of football. But it... That doesn't mean I'm going to not try and score them if I can get the ball off you. If he'd held the ball in the, in the corner or just stopped playing altogether and put his controller down, I would not have gone to score more goals. This guy kept coming for me. He kept scoring or kept trying to score goals. He kept trying to make tackles. So I'm going to sit there 
and I'm going to score as many goals as I can. And I did, which put me at the beautiful level that is four and four. We've done it. We got to within one game. Final game, this guy. Not a particularly good team. Some decent players in there with Kunde and Dembele and, and that um, Inaki Williams, etc. I concede what I consider to be a, a poor goal. Defensively, I should have done better. And then 74 minutes in, I'm thinking, this is it. He's into the area. He's about to score. We steal it and we break. And this was a break of beauty. I actually really, really, really like this goal. Down the right-hand side with Rafinha, four-point turn, plays it in to Timo Werner, little layoff to Chiesa, back to Werner, weak foot finish, back of the net. And I'm thinking, I went constant pressure that second half, by the way, because the first half I was terrible. I just went constant pressure, all out, and I was all over him. He couldn't get the ball. I switched. I shouldn't have. I switched, and we're not constant pressure anymore. I tried something risky here. It was stupid to do it in the last minute of the game, and we concede, and yes... That means I am awful at this game, and I did not qualify. There, I said it. Um, I'm terrible in these situations. I'm not embarrassed by it. I couldn't care less that I've not qualified. It just irritates the living crap out of me that there's not 10 attempts in a weekend or in a qualification. There's nine. How does it make any sense? Um, hopefully, they, they change the system. I, I feel like it should be... I mean, I'm saying this now as someone who can't qualify. If I could qualify, would I care? Who knows? But I feel like it should be that they don't have these champion, the foot champions points. They should not exist. That shouldn't be a thing. You should have as many attempts as you want to qualify. Maybe keep it at nine games. Maybe make it so that you need to win more than you lose. I get it. I understand the logic. Fine. However... If they, re if they remove those foot champions points and just say, look, you can try as many times as you want. You can attempt qualification 100 times in a weekend if you want. Whatever you want to do. But you need to go 5-4 and four to prove that you are better than average in order to make it to the finals. That would make me just sit there and do it until, it, until I got it. And I know that kind of defeats the purpose. I understand that. But at the end of the day, if I'm willing to sit there for five hours trying to qualify... Why can't I? Because now I'm in a situation where I have nothing to do for the rest of the weekend. Like, it's Friday. I should be in a position where I can play champs. I'm not good enough to beat the qualification consistently. It just, it is what it is. I am still practicing. I'm still watching videos on how to get better. And every time I do, I feel like, right, now this is the time I'm going to get a grasp of it. And it will eventually click and I will be able to win five in four, well, five out of nine quite comfortably, I'm sure. But at the moment, I'm still struggling. I'm in Division 3. I haven't played a game in Division 3 yet, so who knows how that's going to go. I'm going to do that in a bit to try and get my uh, seven wins for the week. But also to try and get enough qualification points to go again next week. I've already used the attempt that I um, that I have left over, if you will. I don't. I think you can only have one left over. I don't think you have two. So I'm thinking there's there's another three weekend leagues in the next 19 days. Does that make sense? Maybe. Yeah, just about. Um, so I can't go and get 1,500 points now, and then go and qualify again. I've made a bit of a mistake as well, actually. I didn't even realise I'd done it. So I claimed rewards without playing uh, qualification. So I actually have zero of 1,500, which means I'm going to need to win, I don't even know how many games in Division 3 because I don't know how many points you get. Uh, rather than the like 500, I think you get 500 for the rank that we finished. So we finished this rank here. Uh, we took these rewards. So yeah, we should have 500 points. I took them with a max um, points 1,500. So they didn't actually count, which is stupid, but there we are. Um, so I'm going to have to win as many games as I need to get 1,500 points again. So that's more work for myself. Well done. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm moaning about it because I haven't qualified. Had I qualified, obviously I wouldn't be sat here saying this. I'd be like, right, let's get into champs. But 
the frustrating thing for me now is, and I'm sure many people out there who are not good enough to qualify or have failed to qualify for whatever reason and have that don't have enough time to go and get the 1500 to then retry and qualify to then go into champs because that's a lot of time you know um or maybe you just you've used up your, your entries and now you don't have enough to go into it what do you do for the rest of the weekend play division rivals and just try and get a few points together ready to go for next week but i was going to do that sort of you know monday tuesday anyway and then go back and qualify wednesday thursday so it kind of leaves me with nothing to do friday saturday sunday on this game except go play squad battles, which I don't want to do. Uh, play rivals, which means nothing to me right now. You can't get relegated, and I don't want to go higher than I am. I'm kind of happy where I am, if I'm honest. Yes, I need to win seven, but I was going to do that Monday, Tuesday. So if I do it now, it leaves nothing for me to do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday sort of thing. It, it is a an annoying thing, right? My, my personal opinion, and, and if you've qualified, you won't have this opinion, I'm sure, but... Remove the qualification points, get rid of them, don't need to be there, get rid of the three champions entries remaining, don't need to be there, make it so that I can go and play as many times as I want, attempt to qualify as many times as I want, I've got nine games, I have to win five of them, because that makes sense then, if they said, right, we're not going to remove qualification points, we're going to keep them, we're not going to remove the attempts either. We're going to maybe up it by so that you have two per week. That makes that would make sense as well if they wanted to make it less harsh, but not as easy as my way. So you still need 1,500. We've doubled the amount of entries possible. So if you fail once, you get another attempt that weekend, but you still need to go and get the 1,500 skill, um, sorry, qualification points. And then... We're going to up it to 10 games so that you have to win five of the 10 rather than five of the nine because now I've failed twice. Well, technically speaking, I've failed three times. All three times, I have needed one win. I've gone four and four, three of the failures. Obviously, the one time I qualified, I did it with a game to spare. I know, and I wasn't gifted a win at all. The only one win I've been gifted was the win to get eight wins on the weekend but then I had to, I gave away three games at the end was it four three four games at the end so I, I was going to do it I had faith that I was going to do it so I got gifted a win just to save me a bit of time it wasn't to help me out necessarily because I feel like I would have done it anyway not that I'm not grateful but I've not been gifted a win in qualifying yet it's a nightmare but um yeah if I was EA I would literally just double it all just double the amount of attempts and give me an extra game that's all I ask I'm not asking you to auto qualify me every week Although I do think that if you reach a certain rank in champs, you should get an auto qualification. So this one right here, I mean, you know, you could say, oh, well, rank one, right? Rank one is the only rank that deserve auto qualification because it kind of helps the casuals as well. So if rank one gets auto qualification for next weekend league, so they don't have to go through the playoffs, it eliminates all those tier one players from the playoffs so when you go and play off next week you won't come up against those who can go 16 wins in 20 games it eliminates all those players because they're automatically qualified they won't be able to enter the playoffs that is kind of good that rank there though with the trophy that is the one i think i mean in my opinion i wait hang on a minute this one uh so yeah that would be uh auto qualification this one even though that only requires you to win 12 games in um, in 20, so you can you can have eight losses. I still think that could contain auto qualification. Anything below that shouldn't, right? I get it. But maybe these two deserve auto qualification. Definitely the first one. So I'm hoping next season, in 20 days time or so, EA. Don't rejig it completely necessarily, but just have a little bit of a rethink. 10 games, double the amount of entries, and give auto qualification to rank 1, possibly rank 2, but at, at their own discretion. That's all I ask. That's it. That's the only tweak I would make. Obviously, in a perfect world, there's no qualification points, and I can just try as many times as I want. But I understand that it's a finals, so you don't get to try as many times as you want. I understand that, but... In the, uh, in the interest of fun and having something to do over the weekend in a game that I want to play, yeah, it would be nice if I could go again now, but I can't because if I try again now, 
I won't have enough entries to go next week or the week after. So there we go. Um, I do have or will have some packs to open. Marky Matchups is out. I haven't finished it yet, but Marky Matchups is out. For you guys watching now, there is a Team 2 either on the way or already out. I don't want to do Marky Matchups now and open it because it's only 11 o'clock in the morning and they aren't in packs. So we're going to wait. Tomorrow's video, I think, is going to be a career mode. So maybe Sunday we'll be back with some packs. If I can muster any packs between now and then, obviously I'll do it. I think there's a Silver Beasts. If you play a little bit of squad battles, I'm guessing that I've got nothing to do. So I'm going to have to do that just to get a 55k pack. Team-wise, I mean, I don't think it really matters at this point. If you give me Ronaldo, I'm still going to lose. But um, I just need to improve that left-back spot. There, there are rumours of a Fred coming out. So if Fred is cheap enough, if I can sell Bruno and get Fred... And I know it sounds stupid, because why would you sell Bruno to get Fred? He's going to be 87 rated. And he fits the game very, very well. So him and Frankie de Jong CDMs actually works in my brain. Fred's always been good in, in every game. He's basically Allen, but not as good. But if you get an 87 rated Fred, much better. So that'll be interesting. I think he's going to be expensive though, if I'm honest. But we'll see how it goes. I don't think Bruno's worth anything like he was when I packed him. Yes, look at that. Down at 70,000 coins. When I packed him, he was 120k. Absolutely mental. I wonder how much I've lost on Van Dyke. I mean, okay, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe 10, 15k at most, which isn't that bad, actually. But, um, but yeah, there we go. See what happens with some packs later. Can't remember how much I paid for him. It was about 100k, though, and there was one there for 77,000, and it hasn't gone. So I'm guessing he's about 70k as well. How much did I... 110k. So I've lost about 30,000, 40,000 coins on Rashford. I've effectively lost 40 to 50,000 coins on Bruno. And I dread to think what these other cards are. Like, we've just checked Van Dyke to be fair. Dembele. Still around 65k. That's not bad. I've lost about 5k on him. Sterling. Bought him a long time ago, to be fair, Raheem Sterling. So he's now down at about 35,000 coins. I paid a lot more than that because I bought him quite close to the beginning of the game. Uh, 95 matches he's played for me, which is not too far off what um, my most capped player has played. 131 appearances for Jerzy Dudek. 107,000 coins spent, which was a lot of money at the time. And now he's worth 60,000 coins. Fantastic. That's going to do it for today, though. I will rejig the team if anything comes out that I want. We have around 85 to 90k. I've still got about seven ones to watch cards and a transfer targets pile full of 85 and 84s that I need to sell. Hopefully they go up today. But if you have enjoyed this episode of The Road to Glory, don't know why you would have, I didn't, uh, do me a favour and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>